Hey guys, well it's the 22nd of October in 2023 and today I've taken a day trip down from Krakow to a town called Rabka Zroy. And I'm checking out this lovely beautiful small town and I'm going to tell you what to see and what to do when you're here in Rabka. And I'm just going to walk you around the town so you get a feel for the town and you see how beautiful this town is. I thought I'd start off here at the uh, Fountain of the Elephants because it's really, really beautiful. As you can see, the fountain is lit up in pink colour in the middle and this is located in the R Rabkovsky Park. On the left side, you have the restaurant Zdrojovka. This is the Zdrojovka Park, sorry. and you can hear the piano music in the background. This is the first thing that people come to see when they come to the town. So Rabka has a population of around 13,000 people and it's located right between Krakow and Zakopane. So today I was traveling on the bus in the direction of Zakopane from Krakow and it took me about one hour, 10 minutes to get here on Flixbus. And the bus ticket cost me 25 zloty, which is only five pounds. You pay a, a few pounds extra and you can pick your seat as well. So I picked myself a nice double seat. The journey was nice and comfortable. Or you can travel here in the car from Krakow in about 50 minutes. So if you're traveling here to, um, to Rabka, you wanna be flying into Krakow Airport. Uh, all the major international airlines fly into Krakow Airport and you can just travel up here very easily. You can rent a car or there's regular buses going here every hour or two as well. So there's lots of things to see and do when you're here in Rabka. Uh, many people come here for the famous theme park. It's called Rabko Land and that's not far at all from here but it's the best theme park in Poland for children and for families. And um, people often get a guest house here. They stay here for a couple of nights to see the nature and they go into the, um, they go into the national park here. And in the daytime, they're going up to the theme park with the children. Um, it's about 90s lotty, which is about 18 pounds to get into the theme park. There's 30 different carousels and there's all different types of unusual areas in there. All the amusements and the roller coasters and kids would have a really great time at Rabco Land. So I do recommend you go there, especially if you've got children as well. But um, there's lots of walking trails near to here as well. Um, there's the uh, Gorchansky National Park. Uh, that's a lovely place to go walking. And it's got a special area that sort of looks like a beach inside it in a way as well. And um, that's well worth seeing here too. There's a number of nice museums here in the town as well, in Rabka. Uh, I'd recommend you the Folklore Museum, and you see um, it will teach you all about the Gurals. Uh, it's a very nice museum, that, the Gural Museum, and it's located in, um, in an unusual old wooden hut. And there's also the History Museum here in Rabka as well. Today the temperature is about 14 degrees. So it's okay, but it just started raining a few minutes ago. October's a nice month in, in Poland. The weather's quite variable. You get some sunny days when it's 20 degrees and you get some cold days where it can go down to about seven or eight degrees. As you walk through the park here, you have all nice restaurants and cafes, like you can see there on the left side. And I found this wooden house before and I think it looks really, really magical. In this part of Poland, you have really, really nice houses, similar to what you have in Zakopane and similar to in Switzerland and Austria. And if you look at the house straight ahead, it looks lovely. I'm gonna walk close up now to get you a bit closer to it. Uh, we just go up the steps. Well, people come here to recharge their batteries, really. There's all of these spa hotels around. 
and uh, people come here for wellness and relaxation. The hotel's a very, very good value for money. I stay in a hotel called Apartamenti Vatra. It's about 30 pounds a night if you go onto kayak or travel supermarket websites. There's lots and lots of accommodation options here as well if you have a look online and it's much, much cheaper than the big cities like Krakow and Warsaw in terms of accommodation. Like Zakopane is nearby and you get to Zakopane in about 50 minutes drive from here. And if you drive from about one hour from here, you can get to the Slovakian border as well. Cheers. Cheers. Happy day. Hi. Happy day. How's it going? Beautiful, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. I just arrived today. Oh yeah, welcome. So I'm just looking around. Have a nice day, bye. Yeah. And I went to a lovely cafe up here on the left side before and they were so friendly and uh, it was very good value for money. It was eight zloty for a Holba beer, which is about two euros, um, which is about, eight zloty is about two euros. Yeah, so it's good value for money. It's less than two pounds. And I had some really nice potato pancakes with sour cream. Um, they have the Zurek, the Polish soup. That's very, very popular in Poland. And you can get kielbaski, which is sausages and all the Polish dishes. So when you come to a, a Polish town like this, it's more traditional and you'll try all local food. And if you try the local food, it's good value for money. I recommend you the potato pancakes with goulash. They're like hash browns with a goulash sauce. And try one of these old traditional wooden places like the one on the left side. I went there earlier on today. Let's have a look inside. Hello, hey. Hello. You can see the lovely terrace there as well. Let's have a look inside and have a look at the menu. So, so they've got pierogi there. I recommend you the pierogi ruski. Um, it's like dumplings. I think it's more like pierogi really. Um, sorry, it's more like um, a ravioli, sorry. And it's like ravioli with cheese and potato inside. Hey. hey. Uh, and you can see all those dishes there on the menu. I was eating there earlier on. It was really, really nice. They have tomato soup. They have uh, mushroom soup, chicken soup. And they have all traditional Polish food. Like They have the ch chicken wings there as well and chicken strips. And they have Holba beer from the Czech Republic. It's only about two hours to actually drive here from the Czech Republic as well. So it's easily accessible. And you can drive to the Ukrainian border at Medica in about two and a half or three hours from here in the car. I love this time of the year because the trees are all yellow and it just looks absolutely lovely. I mean, I noticed that the air quality here is very high as well compared to in Krakow. The pollution levels are very, very high in Krakow where I live and it's a really fantastic city, but the pollution levels are really, really bad. And look at this, it's just absolutely lovely. The park here is on the left side and you have a lovely fountain in the middle of the park. Uh, there's also a skate park there if you like skateboarding there in the park as well. And I'm gonna swing the camera around for you to show you all the greenery. There is the entrance to the park that I just entered there in the center. And look at the lovely houses that you get up and down this street, the one on the left side there. And let's walk on. It's a Sunday afternoon, so people are just going for a stroll today with their families. I noticed many people were just walking around here as well. So when you get to a town like this though, I noticed there's no Uber, there's no Bolt, there's none of the online taxis where you get those cheap taxis. So you just ask a local for the number of a taxi company and you can negotiate also here in Poland for the prices of taxis. So if the price is a bit too high, just negotiate. I arrived at the bus station. They offered me one price for a taxi, a taxi parked outside. I realized the price was too high, but you can negotiate and get yourself a discount as well. And there you go, you can see the name of the, uh, of the town there on the board. And the board tells you about all the different things that you can see here inside this park. So 
So guys, it was just a short tour today because it's my first day here and I need to uh, find out more information and read a book about the town. But um, I've got lots of other guided tours as well from all the best Polish cities, uh, from Warsaw, from Krakow, from Zeszu, from Zakopane, from Kielce. So um, please subscribe to my channel at Travel with Col, and that's Col with a C-O-L, and you'll see all of my guided tours. And please give me some likes as well, guys, and some comments about things to see and do while you're in Rabka. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.